Hi, you found Miss Barr's coffee table again. We're on bear book number four. And I have more, but let me know if you want me to start on a different series. This one's called Moon Game by Frank Ash. Maybe that reminds you of a game you've played before. Here's the end pages that'll give us some clues. Then there's a dedication. Frank Ash must have known those people. He dedicated it to them. One day, Little Bird showed Bear a new game, Hide and Seek. First he told Bear to hide and counted to ten. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he went looking for Bear. I found you, chirped Little Bird when he found Bear hiding in behind some bushes. Now it's your turn to find me. All day long until the sun went down, Bear and Little Bird played their new game. But that's not a new game for you. That night when Bear was all alone, he looked up in the sky and said to the moon, let's play hide and seek. First I'll hide and you find me. Now do you remember the birthday, happy birthday moon and how that worked? And how Bear Shadow worked. Is this one going to work like that too? Then Bear ran as fast as he could until he came to an old hollow tree. Climbing inside, he ducked down so the moon couldn't see him. Bear waited for a while, then he poked his head up. When he did, the moon was right there looking down at him. Okay, said Bear, you found me. Now it's your turn to hide. Closing his eyes, Bear began to count, just as Little Bird had shown him. So he looks like he's playing fair, doesn't he? Okay, four pictures right in a row, like the cover pages, the end pages did. At that moment, a gentle breeze slowly hid the moon behind a big cloud. Did Moon have to do anything? When Moon finished counting, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. When Bear finished counting, he set out to find the moon. First, he thought he found the moon hiding behind some rocks. We know where moon is, don't we? Then he thought he found the moon hiding in someone's house. Is that the moon? Look what it was on the other side of the window. Is that the moon? When Bear thought he found the moon hiding in a tree, he shook the tree and cried, I found you, moon! But Bear was mistaken. All he found was a big balloon. Then Little Bird came by to visit. Will you help me find the moon? asked Bear. Sure, I'll help, chirped Little Bird. Bear and Little Bird looked and looked, but they couldn't find the moon. I see four places they're looking. So they went to the forest to ask for help. I think the moon is lost, explained Bear. Can you help me find him? Don't worry, we'll help you, replied the animals in the forest. Oh, there's his friends. Together, they searched and searched, but they couldn't find the moon. This one reminds us of our other bear book. We've got a sticky page. At last, Bear sat down and sighed. Do a sigh. Uh, the moon is lost, and it's all my fault. Then Bear got an idea. He jumped up and cried, Okay, Moon, I give up. Do you think the moon heard him? Just then, the breeze began to blow again. And the moon came out of its hiding place. Look, chirped Little Bird. The moon wasn't lost. He was just hiding behind that big cloud. 
Bear was so happy, he danced and danced. Then everyone played hide and seek. Where do you think the moon will hide next? Thanks for reading with me. Have a good night.